Happening now, the family of a missing Escondido teen is stepping up their efforts to find her. The community is joining in. Today marks three weeks since a 14-year-old Amber Dubois disappeared on her way to school. Christine Frizzau is live in Escondido tonight. Christine? Well, hey there, Jim. We are inside what is now known as the Amber Dubois Search Center. If you look around, you can see posters, pictures, and a spot for donations. These supplies will be handed out to volunteers who come out this weekend to help search for clues in Amber's disappearance. And included in that group of volunteers is one woman well known to this community, a woman whose daughter would have been just about Amber's age and says she has a pretty good idea what the Dubois family is going through. I remember the first night Danielle was missing, and you wonder if your daughter's warm, if she's fed. Seven years later, Brenda Van Dam still remembers what it was like when her seven-year-old daughter disappeared. Now she's joined in the effort to help find 14-year-old Amber Dubois and lend support to her family. It's a club, a group of people that I would never wish anyone to have to go through. I know how they are feeling and how much pain they're enduring right now. and. I just want them to know where Amber is. It's a question that looms over this community, even prompted an Escondido businessman to donate a 7,500 square foot building, now the Amber Dubois Search Center. Uh, he says, you know, I've got an empty building. By all means, you know, he's the father of five. He's been following and uh, offered it to us, and uh, absolutely. The building will be used as a headquarters for anyone to stop by with information, supplies, and as a meeting place for volunteers. A core group of friends and family was in tonight in preparation for this weekend's search. Be aware of animals and wildlife that are in the area. The Laurel Recovery Center is organizing the search. They're the same group that helped find the body of Danielle Van Dam. The Dubois family is hoping for a different outcome. But say they'll continue searching every day until Amber is found. When it's over, when Amber's home with us, we'll be there immediately to help the next family. And for those of you interested in volunteering, the Amber Dubois Search Center is located at 755 North Quinn Street. That's right off Mission in Escondido. Now, you must be 18 to participate in the search. You must bring a photo ID. And if you do, make sure to wear comfortable clothes and shoes. And to get here anytime between 8 and 5 tomorrow, better to arrive before noon, though. And the search will be going on Saturday and Sunday this weekend. And the family also says that they will not stop searching every weekend until they find Amber. Reporting live in Escondido tonight, Christine Frizzau, San Diego 6 News.